Hey, good morning, church. Uh, all right. Um, good morning, uh, New North Church. My name is Kevin Centenaje, and I'm excited to be here with you today to share with you how Jesus has softened my heart and has blessed the relationships I have with the people in my life. My wife and I, Rachel, first started attending New North Church when our daughter was born in 2013. Being in the military, we moved a couple times, which led to a church hunt for three years. Can you guess how my wife and I found New North? Same way you find the restaurant in the city. Yelp. <laughs> no, it wasn't a friend or a family member that brought us here. It was a divine moment on my iPhone. Although the old location wasn't your conventional style church, we knew on that Sunday this was the church Jesus was calling us to. Fast forward two, three years at New North, we were, we were what I like to call church ninjas. We would show up on Sundays and vanish into the parking lot. Bottom line, Rachel and I weren't so active in church community. Although the other churches we attended never really emphasized the importance of community groups like our, ch like our church does, <clears throat> like our church does. <laughs> For over a decade, my spiritual feeding only took place on one day and through one person, the pastor on Sunday. I would show up to church, get pumped up after the worship and sermon, and then go home and do my best to live out what I learned that Sunday. If you're like me, you would retain the sermon until Tuesday and then go back to the distractions of the world. I was distracted because I rarely spent time with him and zero time in community. Uh, with that aha moment, um, sorry, as soon as I became a father, I felt the Holy Spirit tugging on my heart to change. Our kids are watching how I behave and how I love it is my responsibility to show them that love is not just a four-letter word we say to each other, that true love and how to do it comes from God. See, I came into fatherhood thinking I was going to be the teacher. No, I was about to be taught. One morning, I started reflecting on the gospel and noticed one thing. In the gospel, Jesus never turned to Peter and John and said, I love you, bro. Jesus and his disciples showed love through acts of service. And of course, Jesus shows us love, shows us his ultimate love for us by dying for our sins. That day, I started, playing, I started praying for more Christ-centered relationships and for God to open my eyes and to allow me to see and hear him while loving the people around me. That prayer would soon be answered and much more. On this particular Sunday, Rob was given a heartfelt sermon about men's frat, and that challenged me. That week, I dropped in, and that was a fruitful experience. I sat with other men that were hungry for the same thing. My relationships in men's frat made me reflect on the relationships with my childhood friends and the purpose of our brotherhood. Here's the crazy part. At the height of the pandemic, a couple of my middle school, high school friends decided to read a purpose-driven life together then that transformed into a weekly Zoom study and a prayer that allowed friends from all over the country to grow closer to him and with each other. We're taking a pause, and soon it will start up again. Simultaneously at work, my office turned into a place of prayer and study. Three of us praying and reading together soon grew so large, we had to move to the base commander's conference room. Shout out to Rescue Bible Study. Late 2020, McKenna invited Rachel and I to join and lead a community group, and it has been awesome to see God move in our families through prayer and petition. Truly, it has been through deep community where true Christ transformation and change takes place. Remember, church, we're commanded to love God and each other. That means reading, reflecting, praying, for each other and worshiping Jesus together. Let me tell you, Jesus through people has shown my family and friends miracles. Our community has experienced miraculous healing, reconciled relationships, and lives being transformed. All glory to God. Pain 
suffering, temptation, addiction, and sin is not meant to deal with on your own. Lift those up to Jesus with some friends. I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but I encourage you to do three things. Don't just pray on your own. Ask someone to pray for and with you. Second, pray that God opens your eyes and shows you how to love the people around you. Don't just tell them, show them love. Get connected. Thank you, church. God bless. Amen. Thank you, Kevin.